NASA is following through on its commitment to get back to the moon. And Colorado will leave its mark every step of the way. Today, Lockheed Martin was awarded the multi-billion dollar contract to reproduce the Orion spacecraft. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt has been covering the development of that vehicle now for years. And Karen, you were there for the first test flight. And Karen, that was back in 2014 when they were testing to make sure the flight systems on Orion worked as well as to make sure that it was capable of re-entering the atmosphere. Now, even before they do a second test flight, NASA is doubling down on that spacecraft and contracting for six more. After years of development, NASA is making the Orion spacecraft its main vehicle to the moon and beyond. Well, this is a spacecraft that's going to be our nation's spacecraft for many decades. NASA awarded Lockheed Martin the contract to produce at least six more of the spacecraft. It's a spacecraft like nothing else. Gary Napier, a spokesperson for Lockheed, says with more than 700 engineers working on Orion, their Colorado facility is celebrating the news. The primary engineer and the development for the Orion spacecraft, NASA's spacecraft that's going to take humans back to space is um, based out of Colorado. Napier says a long-term contract like this shows NASA's commitment to space exploration that starts with a trip back to the moon. Their major goal right now is to have the first woman and the next man actually walk on the surface of the moon by 2024. So that's in a, in a, a pretty near time frame. We're working to make that happen, and this Orion spacecraft is going to be the spacecraft that takes them to the orbit of the moon, ultimately with landing systems, get them down to the surface. Now, the next Orion test flight is actually set for sometime next year. And then the third, which will be the first manned test flight, will happen in 2022. And you heard him there. They want to be back on the moon by 2024. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.